Hi, this is uh, morning of day number 47 and just recently we had two first finishers in 3100 mile race. As you know, Yuri from Ukraine uh, won the 3100 mile race of 2016 edition and uh, in one hour and a little more Ashpre Hanel crossed the finish line second. And I would like to tell you a little bit uh, of story behind that fin two top finishes. So yesterday morning, after I took a uh, report uh, from Ashpre Hanel and uh, you together, uh, I said that for me it's a little bit of intrigue still present, but yeah, nobody could imagine that it will develop in this way. So a uh, little after that, uh, Nanda Lahari started to run um, on a just cosmic speed and uh, he contaminated Ashpihanal. So uh, Ashpihanal started chasing Ananda Lahari and it went on for hours, like two or three hours. You can see like Ananda Lahari and then 100 meters behind Ashpihanal. But then of course Ananda Lahari slowed down, but I believe uh, he served uh, the pacemaker for Ashpihanal. So finally uh, Ashpihanal started flying, started flying. And it was uh, really amazing speed. Uh, like maybe last year, a tremendous dynamism. You can really feel the physical wave of uh, dynamism and uh, yeah, like uh, everything when Ashpihanal passed you pass through is really 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 something very joyful very dynamic uh, full of energy wow so uh, Ashpihanal started eating the distance between him and Yuri uh, like uh, one mile per hour and then Yuri woke up uh, once he was passing me and asked what I should do just surrender or what what, what? and uh, I suggested him to run as fast as he can to do maximum that he can do because afterwards he will regret if he would not do uh, anything that he can so even without listening to the last world word of my precious advice Yuri already started started running very fast so uh, he killed uh, the second break at 6 p.m. he just had one break at, at the noon at the midday and otherwise all all day long he was running pretty steady and uh, by evening time quite fast and then out of the blue Shashanka came and he organized some people to help Yuri so Shashanka became like for a six or seven hours till midnight a full-time helper of Yuri and due to that I believe yeah it, it was a tremendous tremendous help to Yuri uh, because almost yeah a huge crew huge team was working for Ashpre Hanel and supporting and buying some supplements and drinks etc and uh, nobody was doing that for Yuri and then out of the blue as I said Shashanka organized people so yeah Yuri also was uh, pretty good uh, received pretty good support so if not Yuri started running at his maximum capacity, for sure Ashprihanal uh, would catch him. 
because by the end of the day Ashwihana did 86 miles. Just amazing at day number 45, 86 miles. But Yuri did 79. Never, never before. So this morning Yuri just had 5 miles to go and it's 9 laps. And Ashwihana had 23 laps to go. So it, it, it obvious who would be the winner, who would be the first. So they quite reluctantly, I mean they quite normally with no pressure, they uh, started running and Yuri very happily finished at uh, 10 past 7. So it's pretty early in the morning, so almost all people who gathered were still like one leg in a dream world. <laughs> uh, Yuri was very very happy. But as I said before, uh, for every runner who finished in longest world race, at 100 mile race, uh, any time with any result, any time is a is a huge milestone in his life. A huge milestone. So uh, although Ashpihano seemed to be a little bit sad with the second place but um, yeah both of them both of them deserved um, the highest highest prize and uh, we are very proud very happy for both of them will be uh, Atmavir tomorrow uh, afternoon and then uh, Sunday, oh Saturday, uh, Vasu. Stay tuned!